a little while ago I bought an absolutely massive comic book lot. Here it is. And one of the boxes is a Scotty Young box. And Scotty Young is a Marvel artist and he does these awesome baby covers. So I've got a box that came back from CGC. I've opened it up and I would love to share with you the triumph or the heartbreak that is CGC books. These are all signature series books. Let's see what they came back at. These are alphabetized. Okay, first one we've got is Hawkeye, Scotty Young signature, that's all new Hawkeye. Hey, a 9.8, that's pretty awesome. Let's see what the next one is. We've got Avengers, Avengers 684, great cover, incredible Hulk cover. And you can see here the label signed by Scotty Young, variant edition. 9.8. Okay, we're off to a great start here. I don't know what the grades are. I'm just pulling them out here one by one. So I'm really hoping everything comes back at least a 9.4 because anything less than that is pretty much you're losing money. Here's a Scotty Young signature, X-Men Civil War II. Another 9.8. I'm very happy with that. Let's keep it trucking here. Here we've got one of my favorites, Deadpool. This is a Deadpool annual number one. Oh, awesome. Another 9.8. Okay, we're doing awesome here. Wow. I love the signature in red ink, too. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm loving this. Boy, hopefully we don't have any horrible, gut-wrenching, awful grades. This is Drifter number 5 from March 2015. That's also a 9.8. Boy, this is great. I know that the lot that I bought were very high-end books, or at least they looked high-end to me, so I'm thrilled so far that they're all 9.8s. Here's another Scotty Young cover. Look at that beauty of that cover, the detail of all of the Marvel figures on it. This is little Avengers versus X-Men, little AVX. Oh, this is a 9.6. So this is a slightly less grade than the 9.8. This is a near mint plus, whereas the 9.8s are a near mint slash mint. Let's keep it trucking here. This is Oh, we've got profanity alert here. Cover your eyes if you're easily offended. This is I Hate Fairyland number one. This is a 9.6. This is a plastic cover, by the way. So these sit inside the plastic cover. So there's actually, this is a bit easier to see. You can see there without the, the plastic on it. And here we've got I Hate Fairyland number 17. Oh my, check that out. This is a 9.9, .9, the elusive 9.9 .9 mint. So the one before it was a 9.6, the one before that was a 9.8. And for every 1,000 9.8s, you might get back a 9.9. .9. I've gotten back a few but it's extremely rare. Boy, oh boy, well, that just made my day. Scotty Young signature. It's a virgin cover, meaning that there's no uh, letterhead at the top. I Hate Fairyland number 17, a 9.9. .9. Wow, that is awesome. Here's another virgin cover. This is I Hate Fairyland number 20, signed by Scotty Young, a 9.8. Fantastic. Boy, oh boy, I'm really having a good run here. This is awesome. Here's another naughty cover. This is I Hate Fairyland Special Edition, and this is a 9.6. So again, I'm super happy that everything so far is a 9.4 or better. I haven't seen any 9.4s yet. This is I Hate Fairyland number one. This is a Walking Dead homage cover, and this is a 9.6. Wraparound cover, Walking Dead uh, homage. Awesome. And this is, oh, I'm thrilled at this. This is Morbius, the living vampire, and this is a 9.8. So this is Morbius number one, 9.8. I absolutely love little baby Marvels. This looks awesome. Nap in peace indeed. Okay, 9.8. Okay, that was great. That's a pretty high-end book. This is Original Sin number one. And this features Deadpool up to no good. All the baby marvels there. I love how Iceman's thrown up too. That's pretty funny. I just love his covers so much. I'm a huge fan. 9.8, original sin number one. Terrific. And for you Spider-Man fans out there, here we've got amazing, or sorry, Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 300. That is 9.8. I love the way Scotty Young draws Spider-Man. Check out the webbing. 
very cool. And I love the red signature too. I think it matches the blue background and the Spider-Man uniform. That's awesome. Okay, moving right along here. We've got Rocket Raccoon. And here, oh, here's our first 9.4. So 9.4 is the lowest grade so far we've seen. That's a strictly near mint book. And we've got Rocket Raccoon. Nice painted cover there. And we've got Runaways. Runaways number one. 9.8. Runaways number one. Looks really good. Okay, moving right along. There's going to be a Secret Wars movie here soon probably. So we've got Reed Richards and Doctor Doom fighting over the Earth. This is Secret Wars number 9, 9.8. Awesome looking cover right there. We've got Spider-Man and the X-Men. Spider-Man and the X-Men number one. Big monster cover. And this is also a 9.8. Terrific. Okay. Next up, we've got Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman number one hanging upside down, and this is, oh, this is a 9.4. So there is another one. You can see the yellow, the yellow signature series here. If you see a CGC book that's yellow, it means that it's a verified signature. A regular cover would be a blue CGC label. This is Spidey, Spidey number one, 9.6. Now I'm getting greedy. I've had so many 9.8s, I'm a little disappointed that it's a 9.6, but you know what? A 9.6 is still a pretty decent grade for a modern book. We're getting near the end here. Here's Uncanny X-Men, and we've got Uncanny X-Men. This is number one, variant cover 9.8. Now we're talking. It says right there, Young Variant Cover, signed by Scotty Young. All right, we're down to the last few here. We've got, this is X-Men number one, 9.8. This is like a treehouse cover. That looks great. And I'll just pull the last few out here. We've got about three or four left. And we've got X-Men 92. I love Wolverine. Oh my God, he looks so good. Wolverine and Cyclops. Gambit, Professor X. X-Men 92, that's a 9.8. We've got X-Men Gold. Oh, interesting. He was using a red marker before, but he switched it up to a purple marker. This is 9.8 X-Men Gold. And here's X-Men Red. I love, love, love this cover. This is Nightcrawler from the X-Men Red Marker 9.8. So overall, I'm absolutely thrilled with this. Uh, that means that we've got mostly 9.8s, and there was about two or three 9.4s in there, and the rest are either 9.8s or 9.6s. Fantastic. Well, this made my day. I hope you found this somewhat entertaining. And uh, I'd love to, you to leave me a comment below if you found this sort of thing interesting, if you've got your own CGC story. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can celebrate the art of the wonderful hobby of comic books.